right, hello players. Hope you guys are having a good night. I'm here to do your match day one, series one, replay analysis. See you guys on the blue side this time. Alright. I still don't know how to get to, uh... The 1, 2, 3, uh... Number of seconds switch back and forth between players easier, but... I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. She thought that was gonna roll away. Run. Is that a double touch by Bigots? Close. Oh. Good shot. Bit of a poor challenge from the wizard, but. No problem. There go. Back to that. Careful with that. I feel like you almost want to abandon that. Just rotate around the net and uh, get a your teammate's way there so you can follow it up. Get a pass to the other. Hold on. Is this going to be a problem? Let's go back and find out. So the turtle's gone up, and he's turned around, and he couldn't see the ball. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to keep an eye on where you guys are rotating to defense. Um, because in that position, when you're going to the corner, you should always be rotating into the, into the middle of the field towards the far post. I'm going to check this goal out here real quick. So he's gone for a challenge there. I don't think you realized you were going to get beat to that ball until the last second. That's fine. And Ram, oof. Alright, let's check out. Okay, yeah. You were kind of stuck. Just reactionary there. No problem. I'm gonna go back to this one for a second. Then. Okay, so off the kickoff. Welcome, sword, you there. Oh. Okay. So there. I don't even want you to go for that at all. I'd rather you go up the backboard right away because you know it's going to bounce straight up or roll up the wall either way right um by going at it backwards and then front flipping was which was probably an accidental flip that you made anyway now you're stuck in a really awkward spot and if there's a there's an orange player coming in here real quick they're, they're definitely going to get a go so just be a bit more patient with the bounces and that that'll be enough for them Oof, yeah. Oops. <laughs> Alright. Good slow play. I like it. Take control of the ball. Now you've got good pressure on Up the backboard, over there. Graham's all the way back. Actually, I'm gonna take a look at that for for a second, real quick. Graham. Okay, 
she just rotated back. Tur a light touch. And Turtle's gone for the ball again. Um, and he's basically like shadowing his teammate there. Ro uh, Ram can't come in. Oh, I didn't go back far enough, but Ram couldn't come in there. Uh, at all because there was nobody rotating back. And so that kind of ruined that. That pressure play that you had going on there. I like that you threw it really high into the backboard there. Oh, let's go back. I'm, I always forget there's no replays on this. So that guy was in a really awkward spot just sitting in that. Throwing it to the high backboard is perfect in that situation if he's alone. So, good job. Let's look at this defensive rotation by Turtle here. So you've gone and you're rotating to the corner. And now you just saw Biggins turn into the near post, right? But before you even saw that, Turtle, I'd like you always when you're rotating into defense to rotate back to the far post uh, so that you're out of your teammate's way so they can come and take this ball without any obstacles, right? Because you've got no boost here, but Biggins has a lot of boost. Now, he got it in his way relatively quickly, but it was not as smooth as it could have been. Uh, so I always want you to rotate to the far post on defense when you're coming back in there, and there are already teammates uh, set into, uh, into a position to defend. I've just remembered that you guys have an interesting line of stats here. Oh. Um, you have the most shots against, but at the same time you have the most saves in the league. That's pretty interesting, and I'm gonna try, <laughs> I'm gonna try and figure out why. People are talking like it's a problem, and it probably is. So we'll try and find a reason for that. It's probably the defensive rotation, to be honest. It looks a bit hectic so far. I think, yeah, we're, we're going to talk about it more. I bet we're going to talk about it more. All right, let's see that for a sec. That was a little bit awkward looking. Because there's, there's nobody going for that ball. Ter right, she came back into the rotation, right? But you saw nobody was there. There's literally no one around. And whenever there's no one around, you can always slow play. <laughs> whenever you can in threes, slow play is a good option. Because um, it's really easy to take somebody at the game. Uh, on your dribble if you have a lot of space. So whenever you see an open field like that, you definitely want to uh, take it slow. Oh, right with the wheel touch. Probably going to be fine because both the teammates have rotated back, but let's look again. Oh, an yeah, awkward ball can I go for Rain. What's Biggins up to? Oh, he's flipped on to Turtle. For some reason. He, Biggins, you really don't need to flip in that situation, especially if you got a teammate right there. And you can see him as well. No reason to flip at all. <laughs> and you kind of threw Turtle off, I suspect. Uh, with that. Take one more look at this. 
and Turt was just on the wrong side of the ball for that challenge. It's an awkward defensive play, guys. Awkward defensive play. Oh, Ray, I'm careful of that. So you've gotten into the corner, you've abandoned going up the wall for that touch, and you've turned around. This is another defensive rotation comment. Always go to the far post. I don't care. Uh, I don't care how much boost you have or how close to the ball you are. Always rotate back to the far post. I'm going to take a look at that goal because I mistake who I was talking about. I don't know. I mean, that ended up in a clear, which is fine, but it doesn't forgive <laughs> that Rayum didn't rotate properly defensively, because other situations, you know, it's not always going to work out. It's a good loft by Turtle. Rayum puts it off the backboard. It's a good finish. Not bad at all, and you've won the game at the last second. Congrats, guys. No need to worry about this one. Oh, actually, it is just one goal. I don't, I don't think I like that one. Hold on. Right, so you really, really don't need to go for this. It's almost unsafe to do so because you now you look at you've got like a guy who's beating you to the ball. And then a guy who's potentially going to make a short pass to a teammate to shoot on goal. And it's going to be <laughs> really awkward for your teammates to defend because you've just taken yourself away at the play going for a massive aerial that you didn't need to go for. So, I mean, when you're down by one goal, zero seconds, just, you know, somebody get on the backboard, somebody get in the net, somebody challenge the ball. But I don't, I don't want to see any risky aerials going on. In the last seconds of the game, where you're down by one, or where you're up by one goal. But that's the end of the game. Uh, we'll go on to game two now. Major day one, game two. Right, let's go to oh, big ones. Actually, let's go to. So this, you guys look pretty solid off of kickoff. Um, so far, you've always kind of been in the right spots off kickoff. Oh my goodness. Wait a second. <laughs> How did this happen? I'm going to go to Ram, because he saw the bounce. Just a big old 50-50. And he's come too far forward, and that was a good double touch. All right. With a wild pinch like that, it's a bit hard to defend. I think I can give you. Ooh. That, this is risky right here. Hang on. Let's go back again, boys. Oh. Okay. Wait, what? I swear I went to the end. Hang on. Oh, what's going on here? Hmm. Alright, well, that, that's a bit cut. The corner. I like that you decided that you were going to go to the far post there, begins. But you didn't follow through. You see, you were going to go, and then you turned. And you should have just left it for Turtle to take care of, and you would have been in a better position to uh, follow up in the offensive touch. You might not have uh, had to kind of dive for a clear and, and miss 
Luckily, this hasn't actually gone into the map for you guys. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, boys. This, this is shaky right now. Oh, careful. Oh, alright. Alright. Sorry, guys. We're gonna have to go back again. So, turtle. Biggins got a touch out. Turtles decided to hesitate on that ball and not go up. Now you pretty much know you've got this is awkward. But you pretty much know you've got two teammates behind you. Uh, there's nothing wrong, absolutely nothing wrong with going up for an aerial challenge to meet that ball uh, in the air. Just hesitate less, and you know you won't get pressured as much in that situation. And that's led to like a really, really awkward. Like dive from Rayon and uh, post bounce, it's a bit fortunate, and it's still not gone into the net. That's a back pass. I hope that was called out really early. Biggins in a place for a redirect. Turtles and gets the ball in time. Alright, here's your chance to score, boys. So, soft defensive play. I want to see what happened here. Why nobody. Somebody was super far back on that play. Turtle waiting for boost. Okay. Where did you start going for boost here? After you not made it to that aerial, you go back to the corner, balls upfield. Okay, I guess that's forgivable. It's just down to Biggins. Um, executing an offense, which was tricky because the defense was uh, going to get, I guess, kind of an unexpected touch there, but I don't think Biggin should have cheated up as much as he did. Prime's going to go for a follow on his hit, but miss, which is nice for you guys, because you can counter. Oh, but hang on again. Hang on again. Rainbow shirt up here. Ooh. Okay, it's fine. That's fine. It's a bit awkward. Ray didn't expect uh, that ball to get pushed down middle. That's good leaving that for Biggins. Oh, Turtle! Why have you gone for that, mate? <laughs> you know, Ram was going to go up for it. You uh, definitely want to avoid double committing. At, at, like, at all times, never ever double commit if you if you can avoid it. And turtle assassins all the way back. It's, it's good. It's good. Oh, Let me actually look at Big and Ariel here. Did he need to go up that? Okay. I mean, the the touch itself, once you got to it, was was dangerous. Um, if you're gonna go up for that aerial, I want to see you touching it to the corner. Uh, like focusing on touching it to the corner rather than just focusing on. I'm hitting the ball. I know it's a pretty high aerial, but you really need to touch your the balls on defense in, into the corner, if at all possible, because you definitely don't want a ball dropping down the middle. Okay. 
No problem, I like to boost your leads. Ooh, you can again, you can like totally do it earlier. Um you had so much time. Um, I don't need to change that, but you, you had so much time here with the ball. It was rolling pretty quickly, but if you just let it roll up the wall, uh, you know, take a wider line away from it rather than going straight at it. Um, you can you can have a power clear if you just wait. Be a bit more patient with it. <laughs> because nobody was pressuring you to get so much time. You know? It's a good save. Ooh. Maybe ball came off in that situation, Biggins. Let's go look at somebody else now. Spent a lot of time on you. <laughs> Turtle, I think you've done the thing again, mate. You've done the thing again. You've gone to shadow into the corner. Which is not what you want to do in threes. Always rotate. If you, even if you have to rotate out wide to the far post, just rotate out wide to the far post. It's much safer. Leave your teammates in a better position to approach the ball and defense themselves. Focus on when you're rotating into defense to rotate into the far post every time. Unless there's like an emergency and you have to get to the near post because nobody's back. Yeah. All right. That was game two. And that was a one nothing. Um, pretty tight game. You guys were pressured for a lot of it, and there was a lot of shaky stuff. Um, but I've already talked about it, so we can move on. Game three, day one. Okay, that's fine. Good power hit, Ryan. Can you follow it up? There you go. Yeah. Oh. Take a look at this. See what you could have done with it. I don't know how much boost you had or what. Oh. Yeah. That was just rough. You had to get it around. No worries on that one. No worries. Okay, good. You're going to the fire post or the near post. No, you want to go to the fire post, turtle, not the near post. And now you've cut a teammate off in the midfield. Careful of that again. Alright, turtle should be able to go over this. Or he's elected. If you see your teammates rotating back, you know that that's your time to go over the ball, yeah. And, uh,. You know, if you want to be especially clear about it in comms, you know, call out, oh, I'm, I'm going back for boost right now. You know, um, you can turn on this ball, like turn on it or something, go for it. Just call out a teammate's name so that they know. I like a bit of slow play there. You realize you had a bit of time. But you're being challenged. So in threes, when you're when you're dribbling, <clears throat> you want to make your dribble move as quick as possible. I know I know you got the ball around him there, but uh, just to, to follow it up a little bit, you want to in threes you, when you're dribbling, you want to make your dribble move as quick as possible. Uh, and basically, the name of the game is to either flick or pop uh, like as early as you can. Uh, because you know in threes that people challenge dribbling very aggressively. Um, so when you're going to slow the play down, you can only slow it down for like a small amount of time. To get the ball high, you know, set the pass up for a teammate and make sure that they know that they can come down and uh, 
once you made your dribble play, uh, and you know a teammate's going to ball up, you just rotate back out. I'd like to see you there to, uh, trying to find a, a hard touch into the backboard rather than just getting a, getting a touch on the ball. Um, oh. Now in that position there, it's it's perfectly fine to rotate into the near post because Biggins was already approaching the ball and Ram was nowhere near getting back in the defensive rotation but actually let me go back and check out what Ram did uh, on that play because this is oh wait oh, oh, sorry. oh wait what did I do not pirate repeat turtle set alright So there, Biggins is going for the ball, yeah? And he's going to follow it up. But Rayum turns. Why has Rayum turned? He had a lot of boost. i got to go back again. He had a lot of boost. Rayum, you kind of just want to leave that. And leave it again. And leave it again. <laughs> um, you're, you're cluttering up your, your defensive rotation by... Just getting in between your defender and the ball a lot of the time again with full boost like you had you'd be a lot more effective just going to the far post and you'd be able to make a good clear in that position I don't want to say this too much uh, again uh, but it is really really important that uh, far post rotation and keeping keeping mindful of that That's a good dive from Turtle actually before that there. It's a good check behind you. I like it. You saw the big ones there and you go over the ball. It's not the worst idea of our back pass there. Um, it was effective enough. Which, as long as you know that your teammates aren't. Oh! Another double commit turtle. Now, I'm not sure how much of double committing is comms for you guys. I feel like it is. I feel like it's mostly. You guys just not telling each other when you're back and when you're ready to defend um, or when it's, you know, your time to go for a ball. And don't be afraid to call it either. It's really important that you do. Um, you know, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I'll say on that. That's all I have to say, really. <laughs> Ooh, just a pinch there took you a bit Caught you a bit off guard. It's a good touch to the corner. I like it. I gotta get back in position. That's good. Oh, what a dunk. <laughs> Is this a goal? Oh, close. Teammates there. I like it. I like it. And that'll be a 2 nothing victory for you guys. Um, you made good use of your offensive chances you, you've not had a lot it's been a lot of like defending and midfield stuff and not a lot of offensive pressure so far all right well that's that's game three that one's a bit quicker 
Um, not a badly played game, guys. Defensive rotation stuff. Um, your offense looked a little bit, a little bit shaky here and there. Um, a little bit of panic, you know, trying to keep the pressure on because you were probably a bit desperate. Um, but uh, yeah, you've won that game. Looks like you've won this game as well because you had three ones this series. I know that. Sure, let's ask should be in the back here. All right. Oh, that's a gore <laughs> right off the bat. Nice. What more could you want? I'm sorry I have to keep doing this. I'm not going to get it. Uh, I haven't figured out the spectator client completely yet. Oh, that's close. I'm going to go back and look at that. Right, so Ram has gotten boost, and you're really close to Turtle Assassin right now. You're really close to Turtle Assassin. Let me look at what Turtle Assassin saw in that position. Could he have gone for this? He's rotated into the corner right now, put himself in an awkward spot, and put himself in the near post. I don't, I don't think I have to say this again. I don't think I have to. Challenge by Ram. Bit of hesitation again by Turtle. Oh, and again. Let's wait. Let's clear here. All right. So you tried to half flip. No problem there, really. You don't. You don't need to half flip. It didn't really throw you off that much. But right here, far post again. I know I said I didn't want to say it again, but far post again because your teammates are coming in for that ball. That was a particularly bad one although it didn't uh didn't cost you anything oh unfortunate for you really oh my goodness that backflip that backflip well you <laughs> you scored anyway the pass was good it, it looks like it caught him off guard, and that slipped between you two. It's good that you put that high, Turtle. Let's see what's going on here. Wait. I keep... Wait. <laughs> I need to go back now. Alright. Actually, I need to see this. I'm going to dig in this here. Okay, just a hard clear to get out the game. Rain is now back. He's done well. Done well enough, I mean. It's a good high clear. Oh, good follow. Is this a goal? Oh, alright. Last nice skip. Oh, don't touch that. Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, it's good you went up to put that in the corner, Turtle. Oh, just unfortunately not able to finish these, are you? Uh, well, your teammates are doing a good job following you up. Any missed shot is a, is a pass, you see. Good 50 50, right? Oh, another one. Alright, I think that was fine because you were the last one back there for a minute. I don't know what that is, though. Oh, interesting.
good claim. Oh, okay. All right, I can I can go back. All right. So that's happened, and you've you've done well not to double commit there. Um, but the panic from the bounce. Caught you up guard. I'm not sure what controls you're using. If you meant to jump or if you tried to power slide, I don't know. Um, but yeah, just try to remain calm in defense. Try to remain calm in defense and be patient. Wait for the bounces as much as you can. Especially in that position when there's nobody coming directly for a bounce. All you have to do is wait for it and you'll be fine. Oh, good demo. That's a good chance. Close one. Ooh, you want to try and roll that a lot more. You got a really hard touch into a place where the ball is going to bounce. You just really want to roll that. Oh, that's a, not the best aerial to go up for you. You kind of want to readjust before you uh, before you go up for that. But what else happened here? Okay, so let me look. After your your bounce, high mid, what happened? Go to ramp. Yeah, decent defensive positioning. He saved that. That's good. Two fifty. Biggins challenged. Turtle the gun up for that awkward aerial. Well, let me see. No. Right here. All you had to do. I mean, I'm sure you could think of a different way to do this, but I think all you had to do is just back up a little bit, position yourself for the rebound, and, and make the clear. Because again, there was like no pressure. There was nobody coming in on that right away. Oh, a double commit. Actually, let's take a look. So you come from the face off. You're going to collect that 100 boost. That's pretty much within your rotation, but if Biggins didn't call it, You know, usually you'd have somebody on the kickoff coming from. Let's go back. Right. So Biggins is here. And he's coming for that ball, right? He should be letting you know that he has that. Oh, I can hit A. Never mind. <laughs> I've been <laughs> holding the player swap button to pause. I can hit A. That's good. I'm so good at this. Um, so he's gone for the boost in the back, and he should like if you're not calling out where you're going on the on the face off. Um, please do makes things a lot easier for the guy who's gonna take that kick off if he knows where you're gonna be. So he knows first of all where he can place the ball if that's something that he chooses to do. Secondly, he's gonna know that you're gonna be approaching this ball with boost if. Um, You know, if everything goes, if everything goes right, you know. Um, so please be communicating every kickoff, every single kickoff, where you're going to be going. If you're going to be going left for boost or right for boost, um, say it, say it, simple as that. And then Turtle will know that you're going to be coming up the wall for this ball, and he won't make you hesitate, and you'll lose the ball in a double commit like this. All right. Oh, interesting demo. <clears throat> you guys do seem to be rotating back really far a lot um, there's always somebody really deep in the rotation um, like occasionally there's like a good offensive like pressure going but when you're when you're going all the way back for boost like this 
watch. You're just every time that the opponent gets the ball past your two teammates, you just have to like turn back. And if you can challenge the ball, if you can't, then you're stuck like trying to defend a pass. You know, I, um, once you get the ball out, um, definitely try to support the player with the ball. Ooh. Um, I'm going to try and find an example of it uh, to show you. Oops. Oh. Yeah, like I said, I'll get to this. So big and she didn't need to jump for that at all. Oh, the game's over. Okay, okay. We'll find one in the next game. All right. That was, uh, actually, that was game four. So I'm done this review, currently. I'll end my recording. Good games, guys. Defensive rotational issues. Um, you're sitting back a bit far. I, I'll talk about your um, rotating really far back in the next game uh, when I see it. Um, but your defensive rotation, all it takes is, like, one thought. All you have to think about is, like, oh, yeah, I'm rotating back towards my net. I need to go to the far post. Um, and it just takes a bit of communication from, like, one person to say, oh, yeah, I'm in net. I got this, like, just fall back into the rotation. Uh, communication, mindful defending, mindful rotating, and you guys are going to improve a lot. All right.